Hello boys and girls. So today we are going to be starting um, a new unit and we have a new essential question. So the essential question is, how can people help to make your community better? Let's help out. Talk about it. How are these children helping their community? Oh my goodness. So it looks like they're painting what's called a mural and it looks like they're helping to make it more beautiful. I would love to go past some artwork like this and they're using paintbrushes and they're getting along and helping each other. So we're also going to start here with some review and we have some words. They want us to say the name of each picture. We're gonna talk about some letter sounds that we hear. Okay, so this first one is inch. What's the first sound in inch? Do you hear it? it and then this is the word nut. What is the first sound you hear in nut? Do you hear it? Mm, nut starts with M. And this is can. What is the first sound in can? K -k -k. Good job. Okay, so now let's do first sounds again. So what is the first sound in cap? K -k. Good job. What is the first sound in octopus? Oh, you're right. Make sure you're doing it with me. What is the first sound in door? D. You're right. It's a D sound. Okay. So now we're going to read these words. And the way that we read the words is we're going to sound them out and blend them together. So we have D, O, T, D, O, T. So you just look and make all the sounds and you can hear the word. It's kind of like magic. Let's do this middle one. D, I, D, D, I, D. And that's the word D. And then over here we have k ot caught n i p nip. And then this is someone's name, and that's why there's a big D at the top at the front. Let's do this one. D o n don. And the very last one, n odd nod. Can you nod your head? That's what that means. Nod. Okay, so we're gonna review over here. These are some of the high frequency words that we know need to know how to read and we also need to know how to spell them. We're going to have a spelling test coming up really soon with 10 of these words. And here's five of them. So can you read them with me? Okay, ready? To and go you and do. And if you don't know those words, maybe you can make some flashcards, have your parents help you, and then you can just practice them at home on your own. And then let's see if we can read this. So the words that have the yellow highlighted words are the words from up here. So you know that, that part. Can you read it with me? Do you, and that says want, and read that to me. To, go, to, and you know that one too. The, and that says garden. Let's count how many words. There's a lot of words in this sentence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. That's a lot of words. Now, you know a lot of these words. Let's read them. We can dig and water the plants. And that's what they're doing right there. Okay, so we are going to pull this down. And right here, ooh, I have a word family. Let's see if you can figure out the word family. So if we take off the beginning, beginning sound of all of these. This is our word family. So the word family is the ob. Ob. So I'm going to put that up here. Ob. Ob is not a word, but it is a word family. And to make um, a word from ob, we're going to be putting some beginning sounds here. And all of these words rhyme. I'm starting to do essential uh, testing on some of you. And some of you are able to give me a word that rhymes. So all of these rhyme with each other. Okay, so let's first sound out the C. Let's just sound the whole word out. K, A, B, Cob. Or since I know that says ob over here, I can say K, Ob, Cob. Let's do that with me. Put your hands out. K, Ob, Cob. Okay, so if I take the K away, and I put a new one. Ooh, let's do this one. Mm. Mm, ob, 
Mob. Good job. And let's try another one. Make sure you can see all of it. Do it with me. Rob. 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 It's not good to rob, is it? Okay, let's do this. This is something that's good to do. So let's do the sounds. J says what? J, J. Okay, do it with me. Put your hands out. J, ob, job. Oh my goodness. And that is something that we're learning about, right? Jobs in the neighborhood. Okay, so that's the last one. So what your assignment is today is I'm going to be posting this um, on the item attached for Seesaw. And I need you to practice reading it. I'll give you a couple days to do it. I want you to read this book, each of the pages to me, and send it to me as soon as you know all the words. Okay, we're doing a lot of reading this week. Reading is really important, and I'm going to read this book to you right now. So this book says Tom can. Remember, if you get to a word you don't know, t ah, mm, Tom, sound it out, and you can do it. And if you need to sound it out while you're reading it to me, that would be great. I would love to see you doing it on your own and trying really hard because I know you can do it. Okay, so the next page says... Tom can pop the top. Oh my goodness, so he's got some water there, has a lid, he's gonna pop the top. And then this says, ooh, we can even look at some clues because you know what he's doing, right? Okay, so Tom can mop a, and we can stand up the word, lot, lot. How many words? One, two, three, four, five words are in that sentence. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, and I can see, what is he doing on top of that ladder? I bet that word's there. Let's read. Tom can it sit on top. He's right on top of the ladder. Tom can tap a hot, ooh, you know remember what that's called? Pot. That was from the Ott family, right? Okay, one more page. Can you see Tom in it? So it's a book that they're reading, okay? So that is gonna be your assignment to um, read that on Seesaw. Make sure you get it in on time. I need your work in on time. I need you doing all of the independent work and the independent folder and all of the um, work that you need to do on all the apps, okay? So have a great afternoon.